Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And when it comes to user interfaces, themes are very much a matter of taste. And we're gonna look at a couple of different options that are out there accumulating in Godot 4.6, which is coming soon and got a pretty major facelift. And we're gonna start things off. This is Godot 3. whatever. It's the newest release of Godot 3. And this is kind of where we came from. Now, it's very polarizing. I'm not a big fan of the blue. I found some of the icons a little bit uh, bleedy. I find this a little bit hard to read, etc. I have has never really been in love with the Godot user interface. Now, Godot 3 is a huge step forward over 2, over 1, going back. I did kind of a history of the Godot UI video a while back, and you can see how profound the changes have been. But I would say at the release point of Godot uh, 3.x, it was probably the ugliest of the game engines. Next, in terms of ugly, well, it's a bit of an argument. So here you've got Unity. This is Unity 6.2 uh, with a dark theme. Um, parts of it are definitely starting to look a little bit bad. Like, for example, the title bar is not themed with the rest of it. Uh, these icons are starting to look very, very dated. Things can be a little jammed in and crammed, especially when you get over here into the inspector. So I would place generally, uh, in terms of aesthetics, Unity at number two on this list. Um, so far. And then number one, arguably, is Unreal Engine. Although I know at the same time, some people think that Unreal Engine's user interface is absolutely horrible. I think some of it comes down to you do have multiple monitors or not. But I do find the spacing, the font choices, the icons, it is probably the most aesthetically pleasing of the options out there. But again, my opinion only. And that leads us to today. This, ladies and gentlemen, is in my humble opinion, the best looking game engine now. And this is Godot 4.6. They've just gotten something called the Passive Star treatment. Passive Star did a theme. I'll get back to that in just a second. It has now been applied to Godot. And I think Godot has gone from last place to first place. When we compare these different engines and the aesthetics and the appeal and the spacing and the cramness of the fonts, again, Unity, a little small, a little cramped. And I know you can customize Customize all this stuff, but at the core, you're kind of stuck with it. Things like the, this header line again. Uh, there is Unreal Engine, and now we have modern Godot. And I think the keyword here is modern. It looks so much better, in my humble opinion, but obviously, uh, different strokes for different folks. Some of you may not like this change at all. And if you don't, the good news is you still have options. Come on in here uh, to the editor, go to the theme section, and what you're going to notice is there is the modern theme. You can switch it back to a classic theme if you wish, um, and then you get revert it. But I actually prefer the modern theme straight out. And the classic theme has also been updated at this point in time. So it looks better than it did even at the release of Godot 4.0. So we now have this new update available. Thing is, if you want to check it out, you're going to have to build Godot from code, which is what I've done here. This is built from the nightly release of Godot. Um, but I imagine Godot Dev 3 is probably going to have the new UI in it. And again, it's a bit of a story to get to where we are. All the way back in April 2026, uh, fellow creator, uh, Godot user, etc., Passive Star released a theme to the community, and uh, it made Godot look a lot better. I I've been using the Passive Star theme basically since this video back in April of 2024. And then in January 2025, he did the minimal 2.0 theme where he updated it, did some spacing, and so on. But these were themes that are basically added on top. There's a limit to what you can actually do in this particular case. Uh, and yeah, it was still a very nice theme. And is what I used to this day. But now we have this. So this is a tweet uh, from Passive Star of the new Godot UI theme has been merged and is on its way to being the new default. Uh, I consider Godot to be one of the most important software projects of our time and it's a huge privilege to be able to contribute to it. Happy to see it grow. So a user by the name of Yelled Him did the porting job. So this is no longer in GD script. It's actually in the core as C++, which is of course why you have to build Godot to get this. This is going to be the new default theme of Godot, and in my humble opinion, again, it made it go from worst to first in aesthetics. And it's, it's funny, it's small things. It's like spacings and so on, uh, font choices. They've changed a couple of those things up, but I think this was definitely progress when it comes to the look of Godot. Again, 
100% opinion. I would actually ask you guys this question down below. Rank them in order. Uh, so Unreal, Unity, and Godot with the new theme. Uh, what do you think? And also throw in a comparison to the Godot 3.x, if you will, and just rank those four, just in terms of like which ones you aesthetically prefer the most. So this is part of Godot. If you want to go ahead and check it out again, you do have to build it at least as of uh, November the 1st. Again, I expect it will be in the Dev 3 release, which is upcoming because uh, it has now been committed into the main branch. Uh, so you can read a little bit more details about that. So the new editor theme, this was commit uh, or GitHub commit 111118, where that was done. So again, it's by Yeldum. Uh, it is a one-to-one -one port of the Pass to Start minimum theme uh, that he also helped them work on this, but it is now native and built in. Uh, the old theme is still available as classic. They also switched the editor font to inter, uh, changed the editor base colors and accents, and so on. Um, so this was the, the commit. It is now part of Godot, and I, again, very much like this. I think it makes Godot look so much better. Problem is, I'm not the only person with an opinion on this matter. There was actually this issue uh, released, basically, where they got a bunch of complaints. They want to revert it back. Now, the response to this seems to be mostly no. <laughs> So uh, that, that seems I think we're going to basically keep with what the new theme is all about. But there are some small issues with the theme in terms of visual separation and so on. Uh, and there is a complaint about it. But uh, to me, I think this is such a huge step forward. I would like to just see a little bit of refinement, fix those little issues and so on. Again, I just find this particular version just so much nicer to work with. And it's funny because if you look at something like a theme, it's so simple, but this is a program you could potentially be looking at for hours upon end. And something that looks good or aesthetically pleasing to you is more, it's easier to work with that tool. At the same time, if there is good separation, it makes using and navigating your tool that much easier. So again, quick recap. So here we go. This Godot 3.x. Um, and then we've got, so there's your, your animation tool opened up. Uh, again, this is really jarring to me. I think every program needs to get this licked. Uh, and then after that, we have uh, Unreal Engine. Again, very jar sorry, Unity Engine, very jarring. I find it very cramped. Uh, it's like the font choices. It looks muddy to me. Uh, so this would be, I would take this over Godot 3.x, but this would be next place for me. Uh, and then Unreal Engine. Again, I know Unreal Engine is really polarizing. Some people despise the user interface. Some people absolutely love the interface. I'm more on the love than the despise side of the equation. But now, honestly, this, this is the pinnacle, in my opinion. I think Godot is currently the best looking of those three and a half game engines. But again, give me your rankings in the comments down below, or do you just not give a damn about any of this stuff? Because that is a perfectly valid reason too. Or maybe you're one of those people out there that uses a light theme and does not have any appreciation for not burning out your corn cuffs. Corneas. Uh, let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.